Thank you for joining me for another time of Daily Devotions in 3 Minutes this morning. And today's topic is blame and forgiveness. We're going to read from Colossians 3.13 and then get into today's devotion, right? So here's what it says. Forgive anyone who offends you, from the NLT version. If you can offend God through choices you make, and if God had to send His Son to make forgiveness possible, isn't it obvious that you will sometimes offend or cause pain to others? When you've been offended, you may believe your experience is unique and no one has ever endured the same suffering. Maybe that's true, but offenses happen to someone every minute of every day, so you must know how to respond to them. When someone tells you get over it, it sounds uncaring, as if you're supposed to say that the offense was no big deal. But true forgiveness requires naming the sin and who is to blame. In order for God to forgive you, He had to pinpoint your offenses. You must do the same because forgiveness isn't trivial. You can't just say it's no big deal. The only way to get over an offense is to face the issue honestly, acknowledge the hurt, and then intentionally choose to forgive specific offenses. There is more to experience in life than old hurts. Guys, it's such a powerful topic, blame and forgiveness, because it's something that we go through every single day. Every day someone is blaming you or you're blaming someone. Maybe every day, maybe every week, maybe every month. And every day it may happen to you as well, right? When someone has blamed you for something and you go through a trial and it's tough to know how to react. Do I forgive this person? Do I trust them again? Or do I have to find a way to move on from that, right? The truth is my, my, my uh, you know, outlook on that situation is that Christ forgave me. He gave me grace when I didn't deserve it. So how much more grace should I extend to someone else because of the grace He has given to me? You get what I'm saying? It's so important to love others as Christ has loved you and that means forgiving them over and over and over. Now the... The important part about this is, yes, we have to forgive, we have to move on, we have to move forward. But it's important not to be hurt over and over and over. In the same way God despises habitual sin that you just have no conscience about and you're just sinning over and over without changing. In the same manner, if someone is hurting you over and over and you're caring and forgiving them and you're here breaking your neck over and over for them, That might not be a good partnership, a good friendship, a good relationship to keep in your life. So keep that in mind, but regardless, forgive others as Christ forgave you and show the love of Christ to someone today. Guys, have an awesome day today. God bless you. Take care.